So what's up everybody? I'm not gonna bore you with a lot of playing, but uh, that's a Paul Reed Smith little 15 water. It's on seven watts right now. And I'm telling you at seven watts, I can play with any band. Except maybe uh, Patrick, <laughs> Patrick Johansson, a uh, friend of mine, he's loud. But um, most normal drummers, yeah. <laughs> really good tone get to uh on that head so that's a two channel head it's got separate master volumes and it has a, a separate eq so you can run that with pedals it takes pedals great obviously it takes the boards great helix fractal all of them right into the back of it <laughs> with the playing and the boring stuff of what I'm doing. I'm really tired. I had to patch a, fix my storage shed. I had to do my roof myself. Not easy. Anyway, so I'm very tired. My eyes burn. What can I say? It's never ending fixing a house. So I get that running straight into the effects loop in there. I, you know, my views of that. You've seen a lot of my videos. Excuse me. I think that's the best way to go because you can channel switch and not have to tap dance, you know, and the sound, the sound is look, what you're looking for. You know, if you're looking for like, if you're looking for that or you want like, um, the, Where'd, where'd I go? The overdrive, you have all the tone. <laughs> the dock and the molecule. <laughs> But the head, if you wanted to use a head with the chick, comes with a channel switcher. You can, it's got a lead channel, turns red. Blue is your clean. Very cool. It's got some cool handles to protect you when you go into the input and your toggles. Um, I ran it earlier today and it's got plenty of gain on tap. And it actually sounds good straight into the head. It sounds like an EVH, Fender EVH, the old. 50 watt head that's what this head sounds like with the game channels and um the cool thing is it has a boost on the clean channel when you pull it out you get that slappy bright tone that has that spankiness to it which is really really good as well um it's just one of those things that has good tone if you're not running one of these pedal boards into the effects loop where you can run pedals and do a gig. And I'm telling you right now, it's on seven watts. It, it shakes this room with the with the four by 12 cab. Um, and that's another thing. If you want that sound, you, you gotta have a four by 12. Um, and this will run two 16 ohm, four 12 cabs. Well, well, any two 16 cap, ohm cabs, but you know, two four 12 cabs and they're both 16 ohms. That's down to eight and it'll run that. So um, it's got plenty of power to do that. And we'll go into some of the power and the stuff. Again, 50 watts to 100 watts is only 3 dBs. 
when you listen to me talk, I'm probably talking between 70 and 80 dBs, depending on how loud I get or how loud you turn your volume up. But if you watch all the England's videos when he has the decibel meter over to the side, which is about eight feet away, you can see it's between 70 and 80 when he talks all the time. So minus three dBs between a 50 and 100 watt head is not a lot. So then you take the 50 and you go down to 25 and it's three more and it's only six, you know. So if you take that and, tw you know, the, now you're at 25 and you cut that in half, you're, you know, 12, 12, that's 15. So now you're at nine. <laughs> it's, it's not a whole lot. It's between going like this and going like that. It's not a lot of dBs. So that's plenty of loud plenty allowed to play in the band. The cool thing about it and why I got it is they don't come around much in the guitar shops around here. I'm in South Florida. So I picked it up. It was the only one I've seen down here. Haven't seen them. I didn't want to order one. Um, I was going to pick up a Tube Meister Hughes & Kettner Deluxe 20 watt. And those are really cool because they're really small. But this sounded better to me in the game stages. Um, the Hughes & Kettner sounded like crap. But it had plenty of wattage as it, I liked it because it was even smaller. It was half that size. And it um, was a little louder. But it, it's hard to tell with the decibels which one was louder because this is loud as well. So you got to keep that in mind too. Again, I'm not going to do a super long video on tones and stuff. But I highly recommend, even if you're a gigging musician and you don't want to put out like a lot of you know you don't want to carry a a, a $2,500 head around you pick up a Val Tone GP for $250 $300 bucks, and one of these heads brand new they're $750 so you're looking at $1,000 and then you just need a cab go get a cab and you're you're good to go so you know basically for $1,500 bucks you can get a Marshall cab, that head, and a valve tone, and you already have your guitars, hopefully. But for 1500 bucks, you have a gig rig, you know. And, you know, I watch some of these stuff, like on Anderton's rigs under a thousand. I'm gonna tell you right now, that head with that board, they don't get the tones I do, <laughs> you know, with all those pedals. And again, you know, like I hear some people talking about diodes and clipping and blah, blah, blah. You know, like, same thing in the triple TSL. Oh, the diodes, it's clipping the, it's not, but who cares? The diodes are in guitar pedals. Guitar pedals aren't tube. You know, that's why Blackstar started doing the tube series and Butler and some of the older ones. But, you know, because they're tube driven as opposed to a diode. But anyway, I'm not going to bore you with too much of the history and stuff either. But, you know, I like the head. It's going to be good for, like, when I have people over. And, by the way, I only have a couple more spots. They kind of filled up real quick. So, if you want lessons, comment down. I'll contact you. I'll reply back to you. Um, and then, uh, like I said, 40 an hour or 25 a half hour. Um, just comment whenever you're available. You know? And uh, that way we can do a program based on what you need to learn or what you want to learn we'll go through theory and songs and what whatever but you know we'll set whatever your goals are you tell me your goals and we'll come up with something like a system where you can learn again you can learn a lot of songs off youtube if you get stuck you tell me hey, i'm having trouble with this part and i'll show you what they're doing in person or you know why we're going through the theory so that you can learn what the chords and the scales are doing it with the songs that you're learning so that you can it'll help and benefit you in the long run um again everything is not geared for short term it's it's not um to have a great physique you have to work out for years and diet and it's hard work to be a great guitar player it's a lot of sacrificing and um, selfishness of sitting in rooms and practicing and noodling and for hours. I missed a lot of stuff out when I was really young, <laughs> but um, but the sacrifice paid off for me. So anyway, not to bore you with too much, we'll keep this under ten minutes. 
So 9.55, 6, 7, peace out.